Yeah, hi scrappers. Uh, just uh, today we're going to talk about um, scrapping LCD monitors. Um, very, um, you know, common these days. Uh, most of the CRTs are all gone, and uh, so yeah, um, monitors are pretty much everywhere. And uh, you know, nice and small, easy to uh, scrap, and uh, not a lot to them. Not much. Not a great deal of value. Um, you know, a bit of scrap steel, uh, a couple of little boards, and um, that's about it. But uh, so I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll scrap open a few different monitors, and just to give you a a, a bit of a a bit of a look at um, you know uh, different boards from different monitors. So I've got a little bunch of monitors here to to um, to have a look at. So yeah, so I'll I'll, I'll open up about four of them. And uh, just give you a bit of a uh, bit of a look, and uh... okay. So I've opened up um, six different uh, LCD monitors just to uh, you know get a good example of um, basically what we can get out of it for uh, gold recovery. So um, I've just uh, undone all the screws just to make it a little bit quicker, and. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Obviously, you you got your uh, little power board here, um, you know, which uh, you can sort of depopulate for the little transformers and and aluminium and stuff. Um, and there's the little main board. Uh, in this case, there's there's, a, there's another little board attached to it. It's just a, a a low grade, but it has got a little IC chip underneath it. So that's your main board. It's uh, you know, it's just a, a mid grade board. Um, Got some nice gold pins, some flat packs, pins, and uh, some crystals there, but uh, not a lot on this one. It's, uh, and yeah, the power board. And then take off the main steel backing. Oh, there's also the uh, little switch, little button board from um, at the front of the the, the you know the little buttons. So uh, in this case, it's got a little bit of gold pins there, and these. Uh, tactile switches. I keep these for uh, silver recovery usually. Uh, sometimes um, inside the uh, the plastic front. Sometimes that's where the uh, switches usually sit, like that. But uh, in this case, the 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 little switch button is uh, it doesn't have tactile switches. It's just got little gold, um, just little gold dots. And um, and if I can just open it up, well, we can't get this one. But they've usually got little gold dots underneath this tape. Um, yeah. So we've got some nice steel anyway, a bit of wire. And yeah, once we've got the main board, pretty much all, all we're going to get is a little bit of wire and the finger strip board. It's the main thing we, we want in these LCDs. A little bit of gold plating inside these um, these plugs. A little bit of gold plating there. Um, and in there, sometimes there is, sometimes there's not. And just these finger strip boards. Now the, the ribbon left on the LCD, they don't usually have gold plating. It's just, um, you know, that, that's not a bad looking finger strip board. You've got uh, quite a lot of, uh, you know, MLCCs here you can take off. Some very small ones, some resistors, a um, little flat pack there. And yeah, and, uh, that's the, you know, the gold fingers. And even, even the writing and the little dots, that's all gold flashed. So you can recover that. Even these little dots, it's gold flashing. But yeah, so you know the the finger strip boards vary, but this is the main thing out of the LCD monitors that we get for gold recovery. And uh, you know, aside from you know some some gold pins and stuff, and unless you know, and, you know, we get some gold out of the flat packs and stuff. But sometimes the flat packs, or oh, sometimes yeah, they can be high grade flat packs with the gold corner chip. But uh, that's the main thing, really, and and the rest, apart from a little bit of wire, the rest is uh, you just keep this uh, unit intact, 
and you can send this off to a, a recycler if you like recycle or some people um, some scrap yards take it as scrap steel um, but yeah there's no point in opening this up any further um, one, once we've got our finger strip board there's nothing left on it and what I normally do is um, I put the screen end down back into these backings if it's got one sort of just just keep it sort of compact like this uh, okay so that was that one uh, another one this one's a, a wider screen um, they're all very much the same there's not a whole lot of difference uh, in this one I've got a, another little little main board and the power board Yeah, so power board again, you've got some transformers, um, some copper spools and a little bit of aluminium or if you don't have time just uh, sell it as a power board. Sometimes these brown power boards will have gold pins, in this case it doesn't. And another little, little power board, not a great deal of value on this power board even though it's a, quite a big, it's a big monitor. Um, you know, just one f main flat pack, some pins under there, uh, and this ribbon wire. In this case, it's got uh, gold pins on, on one side, and this side it's uh, it's that will be just tin. So, but we can take off these gold pins. So, j just a very little board on this one, and then. And then we just got the uh, finger strip board. Same deal, just rip her off. Uh, as you can see, nice, um, you know, reasonably nice gold fingers, but there's not a lot of, you know, gold here. Um, well, this side, the other side, there's, you know, you've got a flat pack there. Um, some very, you know, small MLCCs you can take off. Um, but yeah, not a lot of gold flashing on, on this one. It's mostly the gold finger strip. So not a great deal on this one, even though it's a, a you know, very big one. Um, all right, uh, number three, another little bit wider. Again, power board, a little bit bigger, same thing. It's got an extra copper spool. It's got a couple of uh, very small IC chips. Um, and and again, the um, the power board, only a very small power board, really not much on it apart from your plugs here, you get some gold out of them, a uh, little bit of gold inside there, take the flat pack the, and the crystal, so yeah, not a, not a great deal in a lot of these LCD monitors as far as uh, circuit boards are concerned, so um, you know, if you're just selling circuit boards, you're not going to get much value. If you're um, depopulating them and, you know, maximising your value, you'll get a little bit more. Um, same with these. Uh, not much, but a lot of the weight on this is actually the copper. So, um, you know, for me, uh, you know, it's, it's probably, it's much better to depopulate this and get the full value rather than just selling it as a low-grade board or a power board because you're not going to get much for it at all few cents you know some steel and our finger strip board so again uh, not a great great deal on this one it, it does have some nice um, MLCC's just little ones here a couple of rows of them and um, your main chip here so if you depopulate this completely remove everything off it and then you can you you can um, you know, you can have this board as a, you know, just a gold-plated board and you can process the whole board as you would say after you depopulated ram sticks. A little bit here, but not a lot. Remember, it's only flashing, it's not gold plating. So it's like, it's kind of like spray painted on almost. And um, so it's, it's very light gold. Um, you know, sometimes the fingers can be a little bit heavier but it's still quite like gold. So it takes, you know, quite a bit to get a, you know, a gram of gold out of this. Okay, that was three. 
Number four, another little switch. Oh, no, that was the old one. See if we can get this one off. I'll just, uh, I'll just cut these wires. Um, okay. Now I just need to find where I put my screwdriver and get this. Uh, piece of steel off. Okay, so in this case, this one, we've just got a power board here. So not much on this one. Um, it's just I've got a little little board for the for the video plug. But um, so where there's normally a power board, it's not here, it'll be somewhere else. So it's a good example of something different. Okay. So in, in this case, the power board is actually part of the finger strip board. So it's, you know, as you can see, it's a, a very intense power, um, finger strip board. So you got your, your main finger strip board running all along, and then they have actually incorporated the power board in with the finger strip board. So, but you know, if you look closely, you can see all the gold plating. There's a real lot, and there's a lot of detail here. It's all over the place you know we've got MLCC's crystal you know these flat packs here another crystal more MLCC's we've got little MLC's running all, all along here but the the gold plating is you know is all over it just about so um, you know once you depopulate this board take everything off it will be um, you know quite a good board for um, gold recovery the other side you can see the um, you know the little dots and the squares and you know it's just all over so both sides so this particular um, uh, finger strip board is a really good you know I'd, I'd class this as a as a high grade finger strip board if there's any such thing just simply because it's just got so many little things on it and then a lot of gold plating all over it so this one's a good one all right that was number four Number five, another whitish one. Have a quick look. Okay. So this one here, same deal, a little power board here. And on this side, we got ourselves a. Uh, with, with these video uh, plugs, They've got those little square um, screws that go in. I find the easiest way to, to get rid of them is just use monkey grips and just kind of snap them off rather than unscrewing them. Usually it's, it's quicker. In this case, you know, it's not. <laughs> well, you get the picture. But yeah, just a little power board in this one again. Uh, so not much. Main thing we want is the finger strip board, and um, yeah, just a, this is what I call just a just an average finger strip board. It's not really light. It's not you know very heavy. Um, same sort of deal with it. Other side, not a lot there, but still, uh, you know these these fingers actually feel uh, a lot heavier than than a, a lot of the other fingers. So it might be a little bit better for gold recovery. Um, but yeah, these all add up, you know, once you start building them up um, and, you know, these monitors are everywhere, you know, and that's, this is the future of, um, you know, PC monitors. So, you know, once you start building these up, um, doing a lot of these monitors, you're gonna get heaps of these and you're gonna have a lot of gold recovery, you know, uh, start filling up barrels of them and, uh, um, one day you'll probably be very happy, uh, especially if gold goes up. Um, and, the, and the last one I opened up, same deal, got a power board, a little logic board, you know, main board. So not a lot, again, just your chip and a crystal, a little bit of gold plating in there um, and a little bit of gold plating in there. Um, 
So it's just a, a, a mid kind of like a mid grade board, you know, not very high in value. And the finger strip board. Yeah, so I did mention that the, these plug ends usually have a bit of gold plating. Even this ribbon wire has got a little bit of gold plating. And again, just a very average finger strip board. But another one to add to the collection. All right, so that's it. Not a lot to scrapping um, LCD monitors. Um, you know, LCD TVs, you obviously the, the finger strip boards are usually twice, you know, you get two pieces or one very long one, but they're usually two pieces like this. Um, and you get, you know, a bit more value out of the scrap steel and so on. Uh, usually the boards are a little bit bigger and all that, but you know, LCD monitors, um, you find them pretty much everywhere. People um, leave them um, out in the rubbish and stuff like that. Um, and you can, you know, pick them up. They're not hard, you know, they're not uh, heavy or anything like that. So you pick them up and build them up. Keep scrapping them. Keep collecting your uh, finger strip boards, like this one, you know, it's a, this is a beautiful board. Um, just keep stacking them and uh, eventually you'll do okay. And uh, with these, like I said, depopulate them. Same as with your power boards, take your transformers and stuff, try and maximize your value. Obviously you've got wire, you've got some aluminium, and you've got, you know, sometimes you've got little IC chips. So, you know, try and, uh, with LCDs, because they're so small and they're easy to handle, you're not gonna break your back um, scrapping them. Um, you know, I do these in, um, you know, when I've got, you know, time and I've got, you know, I don't want to do anything heavy. I, I get into a bunch of these uh, LCD monitors and, um, you know, and because I really enjoy these uh, finger, uh, finger strip boards, I like to collect them. Um, yeah, I, uh, every time you open up an LCD, you, usually it's a different it's a different looking finger strip board and I just like the um, the intensity of some of them and just the different styles and and yeah but there's also a lot of MLCCs to uh, take off them so uh, if you do a lot of LCDs you're going to build up a really good collection of MLCCs and uh, a good collection of uh, gold recovery boards. Alright well keep scrapping guys have fun I'll catch you next time hey.